Hi guys, Kathy with Kathy's WW Journey. I am bringing you my shrimp scampi recipe. And you use white wine in this. I just have the Aldi. We really like this Aldi, the owl uh, white wine. But if you don't drink wine or you don't cook with wine, use white grape juice. Just going to have to check your points on that. But I'm pretty sure it should even out if you get the one that's no sugar added. Okay, so I got a pan going. I've got one bag of the um, shrimp that I get right from Walmart, and I pull the tails off, which you do not have to, and I just rinse them, and they are ready to go. All right, we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in our skillet. And we'll let that start. I've got my pasta going. I've got four ounces of fiber gourmet spaghetti, which is cooking. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. This comes together fairly quickly. Because the shrimp's already cooked. I didn't use raw shrimp. I get the cooked from Walmart. And just throw your shrimp in there. Alright, I'm going to angle you down. So I put my two tablespoons of butter. Let the pan warm up a little bit. Now I got my shrimp in there. Now you're going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of garlic. Then I use uh, chili seasoning, the chili flakes. You want one tablespoon of that in there as well. are going to need that's about it we're going to do a lemon juice in a minute we're going to let this go you can use fresh parsley i have the one that's in the tube i'll be using that you can use dried parsley whatever you got guys it's not a big deal you're going to need some shredded parmesan cheese you're going to need a half a cup of that so you might as well get that ready to rock and roll And I just buy the Walmart brand. And then I just keep it in my little container. Smells good so far. Of course, garlic. I <laughs> think, come on. <laughs> How can you not say the garlic doesn't smell good? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll bring it back when this is ready for the next step. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add in our uh, lemon juice. About a tablespoon will do. Use fresh lemon juice. I happen to have that on hand, so. Okay. And we're going to put in one cup of wine. Or if you don't use the wine, the white grape juice. Just make sure it's sugar-free. And then just let this cook. Okay. We're going to put in one tablespoon of the parsley. You do fresh, dry, whatever you got, guys. If I'm going to make a lot of recipes during the week that wants parsley, I will buy fresh parsley. Um, but nine times out of ten, I'll use the tube or I'll use dry. It all works for me. So at this point right now, I will taste the broth just to make sure. Oh yeah, that's going to be delicious. 
Delicious. Delicious, I say. Okay. Put in one half cup of Parmesan cheese. And just stir that up. Just let that cook till your pasta gets done. It'll thicken up a little bit as it cooks. So I'm going to bring it back when I add the pasta. Now if you want your sauce a little thicker, because it's not going to thicken up much more than that, make a little slurry, a teaspoon of cornstarch with water and make a slurry. And just pour that in and it will thicken it up. I don't want it too thick. I don't want to because you know, I want a nice sauce to go with the um, pasta. This is a very easy, simple recipe, guys. And if and I'm going to give you a little example. If you want, like, uh, let's say, chicken scampi, uh, veal scampi, it's done about the same. The sauce is the same. So just change your meat. So, okay, that is my pasta. Let me get that drained and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. And I'll put the points down below. I'm pretty sure this is five points. So just push the shrimp over to the side. And when you're working with your fiber gourmet pasta, guys, make sure you boil the water, put a little salt in it, Boil it 10 minutes only. Don't overcook it. Okay? And it's perfect every single time. And then just swish it around. Get it all together. This is going to serve two people for my husband and I. I'm pretty sure it's five points. Because the pasta is three for two ounces. And, um... The carbs are very low on it. That's why I use my fiber gourmet. The shrimp is zero. The wine was one, so that's four. And um, the butter is one, so I think it was five or six. But I'll post that down below with the recipe. And there it is, guys. You put a little extra Parmesan cheese on top, not enough to make a point. And that, my friends, is shrimp scampi. And I hope that you guys like this. I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it. Um, please share if you think someone else would like this. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. I do need subscribers. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time in my kitchen or in my chatty cafe chair. Bye now. Thanks again.